What is up, everybody? Welcome to Game Number 5 between Dignitas and Millennium, where Dignitas's Bishu has gotten four kills in a row already. Yeah. Dude. That's he's, actually ridiculous. He is gonna all he's about to all kill. Yeah. Like that's insane. Yeah. And well, he's got to, to go up against Adele Scott here, who's spawning as our orange protest down to the bottom left hand corner of Daybreak. His opponent, the aforementioned Bishu, is our yellow protest here at the top right hand corner. Now, um, if we <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me again, I apologize, guys. But uh yeah, so Dignitas actually has quite a few members that are still at their disposal. They just figured they'd throw in Bishu first and, uh, you know, see where it went with him. But they still have got Select and Show sitting back there. Bling has been playing really well lately. Killer even did well at WCG just recently as well. They finished 4-2 in his group, if I'm correct. So um, they've got a lot of players left in the chamber in case uh, Adele Scott finally does knock out Bishu. Yeah, Millennium's probably sitting back and sweating from their brows right now, whereas Dignitas is kind of kicking up with their shoes and uh, just relaxing and watching Bishu play. Yeah, and Bishu actually going with a little more traditional 13 gate this time around, uh, rather than that 10 gate build we saw last time. Adele Scott did throw out 12 gates, so that's just a very minor difference between our two players at this point. But of course, this is a very long walk di distance. Now, traditionally, walk distance doesn't enter into... Uh, the equation in a PvP as much because you have warp and you can put your gateway units anywhere on the map as long as you have a pylon there. But in this case, as far as pre preventing the first couple of units from coming out, it uh, allows Bishu, the security guy, I suppose, to go for that three supplied later gateway than he did last time. Yeah, man. I uh, I wonder if Adele Scott's going to be able to do this. I mean, honestly... So much pressure right now on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. The fate of his team hangs in the balance. Yeah, because if uh, Adele Scott does go down here, then Millennium is out of the tournament. So every game from here on out is set match or set point. So, and it looks like Bishu's going to steal his opponent's gas. Doesn't have the money for it. He's just sitting there waiting. It's a sudden death scenario right now for Millennium. Can they do it? It looks like the gas was Adele not Scott actually. Sold. Yep, Adele Scott managed to take it. And Bishu was going for double gas back at home as well. So it looks like we're going to have quite a bit of gases going up for both players. And yes. we'll see which options they want to go with from here. Uh, Cybernetics core considerably later for Bishu, as Adele Scott did get that core up a little bit sooner, and he's getting his Warp Gate research up a little bit sooner as well. And both players are actually dead even at the moment on Chrono Boost, and so we're not going to have any significant advantage there. And it looks like Bishu uh, is choosing to expend that on his Stalker and Gateway rather than Warp Gate, warp gate which is what Adele Scott's doing. Adele Scott actually Chrono Boosting multiple things at the same time, his sentry coming out in addition to his warp gate research. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the stalker is going to start firing on that supply depot down no! below. So it's what a good way for to Protoss you? to take off their aggressions against Terran because everyone knows Protoss can't beat Terran anyways. Oh man! Whoa! Oh, HG throwing down the law here at Team Rita Challenge! Man! All right, I just want to say that HG's opinions do not reflect those of the rest of us here at IGN. <laughs> anyway, um, Bishu actually opening up with one gate Robo at the moment, though, and he's saving up a ton of Chrono Boost, a ton of Chrono Boost. So we'll see what he ends up moving into here in just a second. And look at this! Adele Scott opening with a two-gate expand, actually throwing down that expansion as his before his second gate actually finishes. Yes. <laughs> so we are going to have kind the of The Nexus, a, though. Oh, and it's, it's huge. three gate robo out of Bishu. That's very aggressive off this stage in the game in his economy, and he may decide to just attack his opponent. I don't know, man. Adele Scott's Nexus here seems very, very risky to me. Yeah. Is he going to be able to kill off the Stalker? Whoa, a nice force field. He didn't need to use the second one there. He didn't need the second one. But he still gets himself a Stalker kill. Yeah, it's worth two force fields if you get a Stalker kill this early on, I think. Yeah. Um, but uh, the expansion, man, that's pretty bold and risky. Does Bishu know about it? Uh, I Yeah, yeah, he does. Because Oh, whoa! No, he doesn't. I thought that Stalker got in close enough. Man, no, I'm totally that's, wrong. That's that's a huge All right, we'll find out development that in this game. Bishu yeah. is actually going for one base Colossus. I don't know about that. Right. I don't know if teching up is the right response to someone expanding like this because now your timing attack is going to be way later. If he's able to hit, though, with like uh, two Colossus timing or something like that, he can do a lot of damage. Adele Scott only finishing up gateway but number three now. The problem here is the two Colossus, along with range, when it comes in, that Nexus is already going to be up and running. He's going to re receive some benefits from it. So even if. That's true. Even if Adele Scott loses that Nexus. 
I think he's going to pay off for the 400 invested costs. It all depends on if he's able to whittle down the number of Colossi that's out here. As Bishu, look at that, Colossus number one is already coming out. Yep. So, Bishu is choosing tech over economy and a timing attack over a long-term macro game. Now, if this pays off for him, I mean, this is do or die. I mean, I mean, if, if the time, if the timing attack is either going to kill Adele Scott or Bishu will lose. I, I, I it's or set him so critically far behind that it's going to be very difficult for him to recover. So yeah. it's not a total, you know, black and white. There's a little bit of gray area in between because sometimes weird things happen in Starcraft Very true. Too. Very true. There is a robotic spade coming up for uh, Adele Scott. I like that. He's not going to fall behind too far behind in tech. Yes, he's behind right now. But he did get the expansion up, so he's going to have more Immortals out on the field. Four gate Colossus now for Bishu. That is a huge uh, amount of yeah, investment. He's pretty much all in on, on one big attack. And now he is, yeah, definitely. He does have that forward pylon down. He had quite a bit of resources saved up, and it looks like they're going to Zealots at the moment. He's still bringing in quite a bit of gas, though. I like the Zealots because he has an Observer, and he saw the quick Immortal. He knows that Zealots will crush Mortals. Sure. So he's getting a lot of Zealots out on the field right now, and Zealot Colossus could be pretty effective here. Now let's see if Adele Scott can start to warp in some reinforcements. He's gonna have to get some units out here. Just Zealot and one Colossus and one Immortal. Very nice army composition, I think. All right, well, let's see. Is Bishu Barry to finish up the fourth gateway? Yeah, it looks like it is, so we'll be able to reinforce pretty well. And the Colossus can, of course, walk right through those force fields, so the sentry numbers really mean nothing. The Immortal's really going to have to be the damage dealer to this Colossus. Colossus can just walk right through there, and it does. This Immortal taking so much damage, a bit falls. So may Adele Scott's hopes and dreams. And I think it happened. And Adele Millennium. Scott is just back on the back foot now. Yeah, Millennium is falling apart here. It looks like the Nexus is under siege. The <laughs> Colossus trying to run away from a solo Zealot, but it's not really that big of a deal anyways. He burns it up with those laser rays, and now he's up inside the natural. It's just two Stalkers left. It's just one Stalker left. It's three Zealots warping in, and finally, Adele Scott's own Colossus coming out, but he's got to fight not only one Colossus, but also an Immortal. Like the range usage right there, he will blow it away, keeping most of his shields intact, but he loses his entire natural Everything's going down right now, and it looks like he lost a lot of probes as well, so nothing working well right now for Adele Scott at all. Yeah, and his Colossus is actually getting pushed back at the moment as well, had taken quite a bit of damage, and uh, with good fire here, Bishu's going to be able to do a lot of damage himself. Yes, that Colossus getting surrounded by Zelts may actually go down here in a second. Six points of health, and it dies! And this robotics facility isn't going to get yeah. on that last Colossus. Oh. No, it goes down. It was 75 out of 75. Adele Scott, GG's, and Bishu has all killed Millennium, sending them out of Team Arena Challenge. Susan <laughs>